it's April the 7th. Um, it's a Saturday. And uh, gonna go set out a little bit of hay. It's afternoon here. And the um, snow's just uh, kinda melted off here. Um, got a little snow last night. Thought I'd uh, take you along and uh, set out some bales of hay here and see what else get into. Um, calves are over there on the hill grazing. And uh, picking a little grass, there's not a whole lot growing yet, but it's starting. Um, I guess more than anything, this video is about. Uh, I was gonna try to make you guys a video start to finish, putting a set of calves in, um, take you through the whole process, kinda let you know exactly how things went, good or bad. I was gonna disclose what the, the calves cost and uh, we was gonna keep them for 90 days or 120, whatever it took, get them started and, and, and get them put out. But uh, the calf market has turned and went down and Currently, we're stuck with the calves that uh, we've got. The calves that I bought back in December um, probably should have been sold a month ago and would have done really well, but uh, we didn't get them sold, so they're probably gonna eat grass this summer. No sense in selling Fort Wayne calves um, to somebody and starting other calves over and uh, going through all that process uh, for no more profit than what's in it right now. Uh, the calves would make a little money, I'm sure, but not not near what they should. So uh, it's just in my best interest probably to keep the calves and turn them out um, and uh, go from there. But really wanted to to do that, and I guess the next time we do do a set of calves, we'll uh, see if we can't get that. We'll get you some video of getting the calves bought, um, kind of let you know what they cost, what they weighed. We'll uh, We'll go through the vaccine program, exactly what we give them, on the days that we give them, um, when we cut them. Uh, we'll, and then when we go to sell them, uh, we'll get them weighed up and you guys will see right along with me how things shake out, uh, the weights. And if we have to hold them 90 days or 120, we'll, we'll kind of go through that process together. Uh, really want to do that, like I said, uh, sooner than later, but uh, it's just not not working out that way right now. So anyway, uh, we'll get the old John Deere fired up here and get a couple bales of hay and uh, put out here to the calves and take you along and hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Like I said, the calves are kind of over here on the hill just picking around a little bit uh, there's not a whole lot of grass but there's a little bit of grass just enough that these guys are wanting to pick and uh, get what they can get seems like they kind of graze most of the day pick around and then come evening time they they come up and uh, pick on the round bale there and get them some roughage and that's kind of what they've been doing the last week or two. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's get some bail set out. Getting down to the last four or five bales of hay we've got left here. Uh, that's all we've got left in the year. Well, uh, there's four bales left at my dad's house. Uh, it's in the barn. Again, for his horses that he hasn't used this year. I can go get it if need be, but uh, hopefully we won't have to. Like I said, the calves, calves are picking grass. Uh, they're not eating much of this hay, just a little bit here, odds and ends. All that water you're seeing there is backed up flood water from Raccoon Creek. Uh, that's just a little creek that flows. This is Laurel Creek that flows out of my place, it flows into Raccoon, but that's backwater from Raccoon. Um, see the calves making their way in, they've seen it. I uh, 
setting some hay out here. I've got one bale set out already. Harder to do. One handed one I thought was going to be. But anyway, Raccoon Creek is supposedly the longest creek in the U.S. I cannot remember how many miles it is. It is runs for a long, long ways. Hay is not the best in the world. And uh, I've just been setting, knocking the outside edges of it off, letting them use that for bedding. And uh, they're just rolling it out for mulch, I guess. Um, old part that's got weathered. I'm just letting them have the center of the bale. It's kind of wasteful, but it's uh, they're not getting any benefit from that the old part of the bale there. There are windows on this tractor I need to get them cleaned up. It's been a long winter. There's some of the calves coming in. Well guys, just a little video here on Saturday. Gonna get this bale set out. Go have a good one. I really hate seeing these muddy, nasty conditions in April like this. Uh, it's time for Mother Nature or Old Man Winter to give up. I'm ready for some spring, warm weather, green grass, getting some ground worked up. I think everybody else is too. I'm tired of feeding hay and uh, fighting the mud. I'm ready to get all these Places where I fed, worked down, and reseeded, and get on with summer. But anyway, guys, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Do my best. I had a lot of video footage and just never done anything with it. I might try to get some of them up, uh, but really had no way of editing other than my phone. I have figured out how to do it on my phone. That's the reason I've got a few videos put up lately. So anything I record from now on, I'll, I'll try to get up pretty quick. Seems to be pretty painless and easy. You just got to set your phone down for a little bit and give it time to download a video other than that. It's pretty simple. So thanks, guys. Y'all have a good one.